You know, the iPad is a good product. It's the best-selling tablet in the world, but sadly, it's also one of the most boring ones. And the reason why is because iOS 6 is extremely dated. And even though we were expecting Apple to do something really great about it, well, it really didn't cut it. So if you want to do something about it, Evasion for iOS 6 was just released. And if you want to jailbreak your tablet, well, I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and I'll show you how to jailbreak your iPad. Alright, so jailbreaking is a fairly simple procedure. All you need is an iPad, a compatible computer, and obviously a USB cable for everything to happen. You navigate to a website called evasion.com, though the O is actually a zero. Evasion will check if your browser is compatible, and then it'll give you the options to download it for Linux, Windows, or OS X. And it'll give you other official mirrors, requirements, important readme information, frequently asked questions, credits, and thanks too. And then once that's done, you just download the file. You click here to download. And once that begins, you'll automatically receive an installer file that will contain the application that you need to continue the jailbreak. Yes, this is an application, and you will have to download it and install it. Once you launch the application, it'll typically tell you where it's available. And then you, once you launch, you get a README file, and you also get a change log. And then Evasion will actually obviously tell you that this is not a supported application, and it'll give you a dialog box with a jailbreak button. All you need to do is grab your iPad connect it to USB, and once connected to USB, the dialog box automatically turns on the jailbreak button at the end, and you'll notice that we just press the jailbreak button, and the whole procedure begins right after that. You have to do nothing to the device. Everything happens automatically. You'll notice that once you press the jailbreak button, everything is happening on the computer. It is automatically syncing all your information and installing the Cydia file and installing the jailbreak on your device. So it'll take a couple of minutes. We're fast forwarding this at 8x so that it obviously is not as painful as it should be for me. And once that's done, you'll notice that you'll get a jailbreak button at the end of your application tray. You press that jailbreak button and that'll automatically tell the computer that the device is ready to be jailbroken. Press the button, it'll give you a black dialog box and it'll go away and we're fast forwarding again and it'll automatically install Cydia and restart the iPad. So once everything loads and we're fast forwarding again because this is taking a long time, it'll continue to boot. If you have a password lock on your iPad, it'll give you the password dialog box or it'll give you whatever slide to unlock feature you have and then you move to the end of your app tray and you'll notice that Cydia is installed. For those of you that don't know, Cydia is actually where you get your applications and your siloed applications and services for the whole jailbreak thing to actually make sense. It'll reboot your device once again, and you'll notice that Cydia is in full effect. At the beginning, it'll ask you if you're a user, a hacker, or a developer. So obviously, in our case, we are a user. And then once we go into user, Cydia is fully loaded. This is all you have to do to jailbreak your iPad. This is a very simple procedure that anybody can do. All you need is a computer, the iPad, and a USB cable. It is that simple. That's it for our video tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPad. I'm Jaime Rivera from PocketNow.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us in your social network of choice. Leave us a comment down below on how the experience has been for you, if it's worth it for you or not. And also be sure to leave us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Thanks for watching.